Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my part, my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. The goddamn Super Bowl. That's right. Unbelievable that we are here. So uh, right away, I want to address. Um, yeah, adjust, adjust the elephant in the room, animal. Obviously, it's a little different of a setup, and it's unfortunate for the biggest game of the year that it had to happen this way. But uh, one of us has COVID. We're not going to say who, just because, you know, it's it's part of the mystery. It makes it a little more fun. <laughs> and um, is that a hint? Do, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to give you our uh, we're going to give you three picks. We're going to give you a game pick, a game prop, a game prop. So like for the Super Bowl. We're going to give you a uh, player prop from underdog, courtesy of underdog fantasy. And then we're going to give you our pick for the game. You know, the big game, Super Bowl, the thing that's going on uh, this today, today. Yes, right it now. is today. The today. Super Bowl is what we all, yeah. all uh, wait for all year. I can't all wait right. till football is over. So this is amazing. Yep. 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 All right. Uh, incredible record for me, by the way, uh, not to you know brag, but I'm going to brag a little bit. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll save start. the cra- we'll save the crowning for next week. Yeah, we, next week we're gonna have an official episode. This is you know bullshit. Like I'm like you know like uh, like fucking this is crap. Um, all right. My first pick of the Super Bowl weekend. We're going with. So there's an old saying, and I say it every year, but I'm sure you've heard it. It's called "Tails Never Fails," mm. and that's why I'm taking Tails minus one hundred four to win the coin toss. It's simple. Here's the deal. It's simple. Tails never fails. Uh, I believe we actually lost this last year, so it's a tough you one. Did. That means we're due for the bounce back. We're due for a That's rebound. Right. And uh, just like a big NBA center, there we are waiting for the rebound for Tails. And uh, I mean, there's really no analysis you can give out a coin flip. <laughs> I mean, the, the, only, the only analysis is that uh, it's never heads two years in a row. So I'm it's just going to stop. Uh, yeah, exactly. 100% yeah. Tails. Tails. And, so my, my game prop, I have hit the last two years and what's that old saying if it ain't broke don't fix it some people do say that some people do say it so we're gonna go back to the realm and i think we're starting to get a little stale with the same game props every year but until it until it doesn't hit i'm going in will there be a kick return on the opening kickoff and i am saying yes at minus 108 so everybody, you know, we all we see all the time is touchbacks in the NFL, but the opening kickoff in the Super Bowl, that's a lot different than a regular season game in week five, even a championship game. You want to be that guy to set the tone as a kick returner. So I am going with, yes, there will be a kick return on the opening kickoff minus 108. Interesting. Yeah, you would think. Uh, do you think that's uh, because of the fact that they're just pumped up, ready to go? Like, give me that ball. That's you what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. want to be they want to be the tone setter of the Super Bowl. All eyes are on you when you get the ball. Yeah, all those cameras flashing. It's like the coolest Good thing in sports when all the cameras flash like that. On the kickoff, yeah, I do. I do yeah. like it. All Sounds right, cool. Fun. All right, so let's uh let's go to our second pick. We're going to do our player props courtesy of Underdog Fantasy. Um if you head over to their website or the app, you can use it. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. I am going with T Higgins. Over 73 and a half receiving yards. It's simple. Um, look, Jamar Chase is like the, the headline here. Everyone wants to talk about Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, right? T. Higgins is just quietly, 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 quietly uh, putting together 70, 80, 100, 90, you know, 90 yard, 100 yard games every week. Um, and this line, 73 and a half, you would expect them to maybe focus on Jamar for a little bit, and T. Higgins will be able to eat early, and then he makes some big plays in the end. Maybe some, maybe a really big play that we'll remember forever, maybe in the history books. Maybe. Who knows? But uh, T. Higgins, over 73 and a half receiving yards. Lock it in. It's simple. I'm sharp. Don't fade animal. No, don't do it. Um, love that pick. Very nice. T. Higgins is a ball player. Uh, so I don't have it in front of me, but I was reading or hearing it somewhere on the radio that quarterbacks don't outside of Nick Foles and Tom Brady um, these quarterbacks in the Super Bowl don't really go off like you would expect them to Um, so I'm looking at Matt Stafford's throwing or passing yards at 286 and a half and I'm going under Uh, Matt Stafford 
the Rams have a good run game, and I think they're going to want to do that. They, I, they do have Cup. They do have Odell. Um, they got Van Jefferson. But Stafford, I think, is going to Stafford a little bit. And maybe that's a little foreshadowing to my game pick. But there's something about this week and Matt Stafford that I just can't get behind. So I'm going to go under 286 and a half. Just go. Can you get your face out of the... It's really, throw, it's really throwing me off. They just, the quarterbacks just seemingly don't go off like that. And um, his first Super Bowl, obviously Joe Burrow's too, but Joe Burrow is really good, uh, even though Stafford is too. But we're going under. I expect a lot of run, and I expect Stafford to go under. And since his defense is quietly, like, very underrated. This is a good defense. They got some good pieces. Yeah, they they held Mahomes an absolute check in that a, the second half of that AFC Championship game. And Mahomes yeah. is a lot better than Stafford, so I wouldn't sleep on that. D. I wouldn't sleep on that team at all. No, actually, and maybe that's a little bit of um, is that a hint? A, a sneak peek into my next pick. Uh, uh, we're not doing big locks this week, obviously. So it's yeah, not, we don't have uh, enough games to do that. Yeah. So um, here's the deal: the game, the official game. We got the Super Bowl. We got the Chiefs. Uh, oof, we got the Bengals and the Rams. There you go. And the Rams are a home team. Technically. They're a home team here. But what we're doing is we're taking the Bengals. Mm. Plus four. You think, like, oh, Rams at home. That should be a good pick. No, we want the dog. I always want the dog. I love the home dog. This isn't the home dog, though. I love the dog. I love Technically, the they are the home team. Yeah, I know, which is weird. I don't like that. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's, I, I Sorry, didn't want to get into it because we could go on forever about how stupid that fucking is. Yes. Because the home team is already there. They're fucking called the LA Rams. It's their stadium. Yeah, it makes, and it no sense. makes no fucking sense. I don't want I didn't want to do it today. I didn't want to do this today, Snacks. All right. I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I didn't want to do, do this today. But Bengals plus four. It's simple. Uh, I just think that they're not going to give up. They're not going to fight. Uh, I mean, they're not going to stop fighting. They're going to play till that whistle is blown. If they go down early, it doesn't matter. Joe Burrow, Joe Cool, uh, Joe Shicey, Joe Feisty, whatever you want to call them. They have all these nicknames now. I don't even know what to call them anymore. Yeah. He is going to fight till that whistle blows, and they will try and put as many points up on that board, and they will get it within that plus four mark. They might even win it. Ooh, Just sprinkle a little money line? Just saying. I mean, I will. Sprinkle? I will. So I uh, I am in complete and utter lockstep with you. I think the Bengals, it's their time. I actually see the Bengals winning. Let's Outright. Go. Um, I, I just – if this, if this NFL season has taught me anything, it's not to count out Joe Burrow. The Cincinnati Bengals are like the Cinderella team. They have a little bit of that 01 Patriots to them, that 07 Giants. And I'm not just saying that, you know, they're only four point dogs, but it seems like everybody's kind of betting the Rams. Um, I like Joe Burrow in a big spot. I do. I think he's much more inclined to not choke under pressure like Matthew Stafford has and probably will. Uh, I think the Rams are clearly much more talented than the Bengals, but talent doesn't always win. I think they're the hottest team in the NFL, the Cincinnati Bengals, and I think they ride that into the sunset with a Super Bowl Lombardi victory. Bengals plus four. Hit it. I um, I love it. I agree with you, obviously. Um, first agreement all year. Yeah, that's actually the first time we've had the same pick, which is pretty cool. We made it all the way to Super yeah. Bowl. It uh, yeah. shows how... how um, Diverse diversified are. we are in into the nfl game um that's really it for the, the show uh sorry about the conditions yeah but um we'll be back next week for a recap and a full you know a proper send-off uh sure thing that's it for today um please like please subscribe thanks for watching comment your big locks down below yeah uh, get some get some props in there ba- ba- bagels and locks Love you. Get it.